Why, hello! Today we'll be playing Shovel Knight. I d have only uh, done a bit of a test on this, just to make sure I had the audio and everything going correctly. And I've only seen a couple episodes of this from uh, Game Grumps, and I saw the, the guys on the Continue show actually uh, play this for a little bit. So I thought this would be a great game to play. I haven't really played it other than a test run. I did a, well, not much of a test run. I only did, like, the first level. Yeah, but I just started over. I just wanted to make sure that my audio and everything was working. But hey, let us continue. Now let us see. How heroic. Blue guy with a shovel, red guy with a shield. And they both got giant cod pieces. <laughs> Obviously. Yes, mighty heroes with treasure. Oh no, Tower of Fate. Cursed Amulet. No. Whatever shall we do? Grieve for your friend. But as you grieve, Terrible things happen. The Enchantress, Order of No Quarter. Alright. Hmm. With the tower unsealed, we will have to make our way over there. Our quest begins now! Commence the shoveling. For shovelry. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. So let's start... A... X. Yeah, I am using a Super Nintendo USB controller. Now. Before I was using a different one, but... It was making too many click noises. I was like, eh, yeah, that's even annoying me. Oh, I'm having a blast with this game. Even while I was just doing the test run. It has tight controls, great music, everything's responsive. <laughs> I had a blast when I was doing my test the uh, my audio test for it, just to make sure everything was running correctly. Got the biggest stupid of the grin on my face right now. Pop balls! <laughs> and a checkpoint. One of the things I found out from continue sh not continue, Game Grumps, you can actually smash this thing and get a big jewel, but if you die, you can't come back uh, to this. You'd have to start over or... Hmm. Okay, apparently not. Maybe it's on later ones, but yeah. I saw it on uh, Game Grumps. You could break it and get a jewel out of it. But, uh, if you do, you cannot use that uh, checkpoint. So, I died. Like here. I would not be able to use that as a checkpoint. I'd have to go back to either start or the checkpoint even before that. But oh well. Dragons! Who shoots bubbles? <laughs> and surprisingly, bubbles hurt. But you already knew that if you played, uh, Mega Man. Ah! You <laughs> can shoot the heads at him. That is hilarious to me. Uh, I love platformers and action games like this. I have a blast with them. I don't have the best reflexes, but damn. <laughs> I love these games. Ah, wanted to bounce that one for a little bit. Yeah, gotta pay attention, because you can actually miss things like that. And when your, uh, your attack button 
Actually, I have it set for X because it doesn't let me use a uh, Y or B for some reason. It will automatically uh, dig up those things when you're next. Well, not automatically, but you just gotta use the same button. Attack, dig, same thing. <laughs> yeah, you can bounce enemies around too. Let's see. Yeah, you were supposed to use the dragon to uh, bounce it around, but uh, we can also use the slimes. Ah, uh, this is great music. See? You can use them when they bounce. And a big gem. Boom, boom, boom. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> and yes, right underneath that was a giant ghost turkey or chicken. But keep in mind, this is not Castlevania. It's in Castlevania, even though we know it's glorious wall chicken or wall turkey. The manual says it's a pork chop that looks like it, which is silly. <laughs> And maybe it's just because it's a tutorial stage. That yeah, won't let us break it. Oh, not a big deal. Let's see. So bounce, bounce. No. Okay. <sighs> Doing these are always a little nerve-wracking for me, because I keep thinking I'm going to miss. Oh. Oh, I thought I was going to overshoot that one. I got you, little dragon. Hi. Now then, there's a chest over there. What you're actually supposed to do is go over here and open it. I would not have uh, known that if I wasn't watching Continue Show. At least they're the ones I think who did it. And just smack it open, walk into it, it gives you a bunch of treasure. Yeah, it's not like that one was hard to figure out. I probably would have... Uh, after smacking these around for a while and on the next area, like right here, I would have, uh, that's my duck. Okay, anyways, I would have tried something like trying to hit it from here to get over there. I'm just going back and forth. Aha, you will not escape me. I'm not going to try with that one. <laughs> that would probably die. Oh! He <laughs> flipped into the bubbles. Ah! Oh, okay. I thought my stuff. The treasure would fall down the hole. <laughs> I almost jumped. Dove in after it. Okay. Yeah, this is... Very great music. I can't get the screen off my face, but I don't want it to go away. I haven't played a game that's held my interest in a really long time, with all the current stuff anyways. A lot of it has, you know, great visuals, it gets great audio, very little substance. Or they just don't hold my attention. But this one actually has my attention right now, because I love little platformers like this. And I've been also been playing things like on my uh, 3DS, like Bravely Defaults. I enjoy that game, but a lot of the other RPGs I've been playing lately, not so much. I need to try some more. Oh. I thought I was going to overshoot that for a second. Bounce, 
with my down squat left. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty. It's a black knight. Cerulean coward. Hmm. Mm, no. To the Tower of Fate. Oh, ah, uh, the Enchantress. Order of Blue Quarter. I will go through you if I have to. Okay, maybe I'll steal thy shovel. <laughs> Quit running for me. <sighs> yeah, that's what happens when you die. I need to stop goofing around. Yeah, and had you broken like that last one there? We would have to start back at the one even before then. Oh yeah, when you die, these are still here. Quit laughing at me! And I robbed you too. Well, I'm done with you. Ah, uh, and now we shall enjoy the rest and relaxation against a tree by a campfire. Hmm. Shield Knight, falling from the sky. I gotcha! I missed the first time, but I gotcha when I jumped again. Alright. Hmm. Oh, you have to hit jump. <laughs> Alrighty. And that is episode one, and that was the first area cleared. So yeah, apparently it autosaves after beating each area. But yeah, this is the end of episode one. We will continue on into what looks like a town and maybe another area shortly. But thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day. And yeah, I'm playing this on Steam. It was... I got it for like 15 bucks. Not on sale, but hey. I think it's worth the... Uh, uh, words are hard. But I'm enjoying myself. I, so far, I would say, get this game if you like this kind of stuff. But thank you for joining me. Y'all have a nice day.